What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Christy Mack, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the body effects of dialysis. So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment, hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all the best kidney-related advice and to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. So dialysis is very hard on the body, you know, and I think it's a very important topic because there's so many people getting on dialysis every single day. And there's things that are gonna be happening that you just may not be aware of. So I kinda wanna discuss, like I said, the body effects of dialysis. When I was on dialysis, it was really a hard time in my life and no one really prepared me for what was to come. And so today, I'm gonna go over these features with you. So the first thing that I used to experience when going to dialysis was nausea. And this is after dialysis was done. I had a lot of nausea. Um, I felt you know, sick to my stomach, even vomiting, because my body went through a lot, right? Just like yours. Your body goes through so much on dialysis that sometimes you might feel nauseous. So the second thing that I used to experience was blur vision and dizziness. Do you guys experience that? You know, not all the time it was right after dialysis, but sometimes a lot of the effects took place maybe an hour or two. So I used to drive myself to dialysis probably 90% of the time, unless I wasn't feeling good, and then my husband will take me. Well, when I wasn't feeling good after dialysis, I would have to sit in my car maybe for 30 minutes to an hour because my vision used to be so blurry that I don't even think it was safe to drive. So I would just wait a little bit, maybe get a little crackers or something to drink, but I really had very bad um, blurry vision and I was just dizzy and just, it was a, not a great feeling. So if you're experiencing any of that, comment below and let me know because I wanna know, was it just me? But these are just some of the effects that I personally battled with. So the third thing that I battled with was low blood pressure. You know, I used to have, I had high blood pressure when I was going through my kidney failure stage. But for some reason, when I was done with dialysis, my blood pressure sometimes dropped so low. You guys, there was even a time where I actually blanked out at dialysis. You know, I actually just fell out and they had to come over and say, hey, Chrissy, throw water on me, try to wake me up, cool me down. I don't know what, but it was the scariest experience ever. So at that point, I decided to turn the machines and I hope you guys are monitoring your numbers as well too. So I turned the machine so I can actually see where my levels are and see if my blood pressure is getting too low. So please, you know, watch the machine, see where you are, ask questions because you don't wanna experience that. And I'm like, what would have happened if I did not come back? Like, it was very scary, guys. But that was probably the most scariest thing that happened to me as I was going through the dialysis phase. So the fourth thing that I experienced was body shakes. I used to be trembling and shaking, and that's when I used to get home. So I was always shaking, and I have to go to my bed and lie down, grab my blanket. And when I was at dialysis, I was extremely cold. Like to the point where I had to put on gloves, I had my little mittens on, I put a hat on, a blanket, and they wouldn't let me get my electric blanket. I was really upset about that, but my center didn't allow that. But I had a lot of shakes. And I believe it's because I was so cold. And when I got home, it was like my body was defrosting. So I used to experience so much shakes. But so the fifth thing that I experienced was I was always hungry. I don't know about you guys. I know a lot of rules have changed since, you know, COVID-19. But I always had to have snacks with me. I always had some fruit, some water, just something because I was always hungry. Hungry. I could not go throughout dialysis without having food. But when I got home, I used to have a big meal waiting for me. Like as soon as I walked through the door, my husband would have food ready because I would have to chomp down because the shakiness, the blurriness, and just being hungry. I ate so much, 
but I lost so much weight during that time frame. I came down to, I can't even remember, I was like a stick figure. It was really, really bad. And you know, the vomiting and the nausea, you know, sometimes played into that, but I lost a lot of weight, but I ate a lot at the same time. So the sixth thing was I was drained, tired, whatever you wanna call it, but I was out of it. I could not function. When I walked through that house, I got something to eat. I always took a shower. I would jump into my bed. And at that time, my kids, my husband, they all knew not to mess with mommy, just let her sleep. Because that was the only way for me to get over dialysis was to sleep away because there was a lot of residual feelings from being on that machine for three and a half hours, you know, three times a week. So I would just sleep. I mean, just sleep the night away. And the only time I felt better was the day after dialysis. That's when I started to feel like myself and I could do things. But the actual dialysis days, absolutely not. I did not do anything. All I wanted to do was sleep and be by myself. You guys understand how that feels? Sometimes you just don't wanna be bothered because you've been through so much. But yeah, guys, I was really, really tired all the time. The seventh experience was itchy skin, dry skin. It was so bad. I was itching all the time. And it was so frustrating because they'd be like in places that I can't reach, have to get a back scratcher, have my husband. But honestly, I just had to moisturize my skin a lot. So some of the things that have worked for me was just like coconut oil, but pods. Pods, I got it from Walmart, was um, a moisturizer that I would use. It was nice and thick and rich. And so I would put that on my skin and that drastically helped the itching. So if you are experiencing a lot of itching, I would definitely say moisturize your skin. I mean, double layer, whatever it is, just make sure it's coated on well, just to stop that itching. But that is definitely a sign. And on top of that, guys, you know, our levels are all messed up, you know, with being on dialysis and just things are not functioning right. So those are side effects that you may be experiencing. So don't think you're weird when you say, I'm scratching in places all over. You're not alone. We have all experienced that at some point in time. So the eighth thing that I experienced, but not quite often, was muscle cramps. I had one, maybe two, really bad muscle cramps on at the dialysis center because I think they took off too much fluid. So be mindful of what they're taking off and it caused me to cramp up. But sometimes, but like I said, not often, I experience muscle cramps late at night, right? So the night of dialysis, maybe later in the night, one, two o'clock in the morning, I would like jump out of my bed, grab my feet, um, and just have like my calves will start to cramp. It is the worst feeling. Cause then I would have to get on my tippy toes and stretch it out and just like breathe and just hope that it went away. But I didn't get that often, but I did get it once in a while. And I did see in some of the support groups that there were a lot of people that have battled muscle cramping. And so I realized that that was just the nature of the beast. It does happen to a few people from time to time. So the ninth and the biggest one for me was I battled a lot of mental issues, I would say. And I would say it's because of my body conscious, right? So let's kind of go over that. When you're on dialysis, your body starts to change and sometimes you may not even recognize yourself. At least for me, let me speak for myself. I didn't even recognize myself, guys. I lost so much weight. My skin looked different. It wasn't glowing. Um, my hair was thinning out. It was so many things that when I looked at myself in the mirror, I was a little self-conscious because I wasn't as confident in myself. I didn't feel like Chrissy Mac today, right? And I wanna let you guys know that yes, this may happen to you, um, you're not alone, there's other people in the groups, you know, and if you need, you know, someone to talk to, please seek help with that because it is a very, very mentally challenged disease because not everybody understands what you're going through. I do because I've been there, but not everybody's going to understand how you feel when you look at yourself and just to know where you were and where you are right now. Um, 
I just hope that you just realize that you're just going through a temporary phase. And that's what I had to constantly tell myself. And I kept the journal and I used to write about how I felt because that's what helped me, right? I needed to express it. And I just felt like talking to my husband, talking to my parents, talking to people, they weren't getting it. They weren't understanding because they're like, hey, but you're still alive. Yes, I'm grateful, I am still alive, but it was a battle just looking at myself. You know, and just, I, I don't know guys, I just know that that was the hardest part for me. So I would like to know what was the hardest part of dialysis for you? What body effects did you have, you know, after your treatments? Were you tired? Were you hungry? Did you have itchy skin? Did you battle mentally like I did? Um, let me know, comment below, because this can definitely help others. You know, the reason why I do these videos is because I wanna be that support system for people that are now coming on to dialysis or getting a kidney transplant. Any questions that you have, you guys, I am here. Let's connect. You guys can follow me at Chrissy Mack, or you can follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. You guys know I comment to everybody. I love, you know, getting to know each and every one of you and your situations because just because we have kidney disease or kidney failure, our reasonings are so different. And so let me know what you're experiencing. I would love to get to meet you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you for all your love and your support. I'll see you guys on the next video. See you guys next time.